So that is where our second uh, Vegas pr uh, file comes in. So I just added a rat background so you guys will see that it is transparent in fact. So we're going to wait until this guy has finished uh, rendering and then we're going to drag in that guy into the second version or the project of Vegas Pro. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video guys I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to render out a video without a background. Now we, I can already hear you guys like Alex what do you mean with rendering a video out with a back, without a background, it always has a background. Well guys let's say that you have only text in your project, in your video and you want to you know import that into another Vegas project but you don't want to have the black background just transparent whatsoever. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that in this video so make sure to smash the like button down below I would say let's get started so as you can see right now I opened up two Vegas projects as you can see right here at the bottom so we're gonna start off with the first one so let's say that we're gonna drag in some text we're gonna click on the media generators tab that's obvious now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see titles and text drag that guy into our timeline and what we're gonna type in for now doesn't really matter because it's only uh, this video is only for the purpose of showing you how to render out a transparent so I'm gonna just type in my name uh, Alex Halfer, like so, very straightforward. So let's say that you want to have like a lower third, for example, without a background. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select everything. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this project video properties icon at the top. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick our template right here. So usually if you're gonna render out a regular video, you can, you, you can keep this template. The only changes we need to apply are in the render settings itself. So once you have done that, you just want to keep your project properties just like they are, close that out, and you want to go to File, Render As, and right here it's going to be a little um, like a little more complicated. So what we're going to do when we're going to render out this video, we're not going to pick the standard format that we're going to usually use, as you can see, 60fps. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select QuickTime. So right here what we're going to do then is we're going to click on 3mbps video, we're going to click on Customize Template, and right here you want to pause the video or take a screenshot or put it up on your second monitor so you can follow along because it's really important so we're gonna start off with the first thing include video very obvious then the frame size we're gonna put that one to high definition 1920 by 1080 obviously then the frame rate is going to be 29970 NTSC the field order we're gonna keep that on none uh, the pixel expert ratio also keep that on thousand or 1.000 the video format is going to be animation the compressed depth is going to be 32 BPP color and the quality obviously high and then what we're going to do for the last thing is we're going to go ahead and click on project and the video rendering quality when I put that one to best and now you can give, give this a name and I just already gave this a name I just called it masked so if I close this out as you can see this is my template so now what we're going to do is we're going to choose a location I'm just going to type in name transparent like so we're going to render this out on any place I'm just going to pick my desktop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and render this out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag this rendering out file into our next Vegas project. So that is where our second Vegas pr uh, file comes in. So I just added a rat background so you guys will see that it is transparent in fact. So we're going to wait until this guy has finished uh, rendering and then we're gonna drag in that guy into the second version or the project of Vegas Pro 15. So as you can see about 18, 6, 17 seconds left so once this guy is done we're gonna go ahead and open up our second project and I'm gonna just add in that clip that we just rendered out. Okay so now that Vegas has finished rendering we're gonna close this out we're gonna drag this guy into our second project. Okay, so this is our rendered out clip. We're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna put that one on top of it. Now, as you can see, we cannot see through it because there's only li one little setting we need to adjust. Click on, just right click on the uh, the file, properties at the bottom. You wanna go to media and right here, it is very important guys, at the bottom, you want to pick the alpha channel. You wanna put that one to straight and then unmat it. And if I click on okay, boom. It is transparent, so this is how you render out your videos, transparent without any background. It works exactly the same for images, for anything else, as long as you don't have any backgrounds. Anyway, as long as you don't have any backgrounds in Vegas Pro, you will see anything else through it. And this is basically how to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new video as always on Friday. So I'll see you guys obviously tomorrow.
Just Alex Halford.